You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. I think one of the bright things, if there could be something really bright and positive, if at all, that came out of this, this devastating blow, it was people helping each other. July 27th marks the one-year anniversary of the tragic flooding of 2022. Many cities and towns across eastern Kentucky are still working to recover. Mountaintop sat down with Mayor Jerry Foltz to get an update on how the city of Wayland is doing. The number of homes and businesses and just uh, the whole area was inundated with water that we had never seen the likes of before. I, I'm not sure that we'll ever totally say we have recovered. Now you can look at the streets of Wayland today and you can drive around our little community and they're, they're not obvious signs of what it looked like a year ago. Even with all the help FEMA and other federal agencies provided, many residents in Wayland have no choice but to leave the city due to home damages. Though FEMA has left the area, many faith-based groups have stayed and are still offering support to survivors who need it. It's the loss of people that's going to hurt us moving forward. Uh, we've lost several families who could not return to their homes. We have uh, several families that are involved in a city uh, buyout program through FEMA. We have, I think, several families that are involved in the county buyout. So we stand to lose several families. And that hurts. It's not just the homes that will be gone. They'll be demolished and removed. It's the people. And many of them are long-time residents. Many of them have been here longer than I have. Some have been here longer than I've been here. And I've been here since I was five years old. Wayland still has a long road to recovery, but in the years since the water rose, many improvements have been made. Mayor Foltz would like to see prevention measures taken in the future to prevent more flooding in the city. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.